the kind of tools that we were presented with here this evening, you know, the Think Ahead, um, sort of for instance, the Think Ahead tool, but that's something that we should be picking up in our post offices. You know, in the same way that they have normalised making a will. I don't think it comes easy um, um, in our society um, to have these conversations. It's not something that we're used to doing. And I think we do need support and prompting. And firstly, I think you're really hearing from the person what their choices are at the end of life. I think secondly, it empowers families to talk about issues around end of life care and to ensure that the wishes of the patient is taken into account. And I think thirdly, for us as a team, you know, there's a much more um, shared vision and shared delivery of service. And I think for me as a social worker, it's often very difficult to begin to introduce it at, at a stage when people are at you know, some, a critical stage towards the end of their lives and they're maybe losing capacity. If it, can be, if it could be normalised and sort of brought into our thinking and our planning at a much earlier stage in our lives, then it isn't so, it isn't such a big, it isn't such a big issue. It's families who have um, had and started that conversation have an easier grieving journey. Now, grieving is never easy, but I think their journey is different because they've talked to their loved one about their wishes. They're able, I think, to adjust to the major realities of the changes that death brings. The Think Ahead tool is a really, really positive way of, of doing that.